So this is my brand new Incinelet electric toilet that just arrived. Delivered by UPS. And sadly it has a huge tear in the side of the box. Hopefully that has not affected the toilet in one bit, but uh, we'll see. I will be opening it up, testing it, and documenting the entire process. Kids are pooping, kings are pooping, dogs are pooping, hogs are pooping, mom is pooping, dad is pooping, everybody poops. All of your good friends are pooping, everyone you know is pooping, everybody, everybody, everybody poops. Kids are pooping, kings are pooping, dogs are pooping. Dogs are pooping, mom is pooping, dad is pooping, everybody poops. All of your good friends are pooping, everyone you know is pooping, everybody, everybody, everybody poops. Kids are pooping, kings are pooping, dogs are pooping, hogs are pooping, mom is pooping, dad is pooping, everybody poops. All of your good friends are pooping, everyone you know is pooping, everybody, everybody. Right, so I've unpacked the Incinelet toilet. I'm outside here in Southern California on a beautiful sunny day, ready to give it its first test. Um, I have a dedicated 20 amp circuit here for it to plug into. Um, and this is going to be somewhat of a real life test. I'm not using actual urine and I'm not using actual human feces. I am going to use some cat feces, cat poop. I've got two cats and they've kindly donated some of their waste to be incinerated. And I've got some uh, organic apple cider vinegar to simulate urine. I've got some toilet paper and we've got a bowl liner. So for its first test we're going to plug it in loaded up with cat poop and vinegar and a little bit of toilet paper switch it on and see A how long it takes to incinerate and B how much noise it makes and C how much smoke it makes and D if there's any smell so I will attempt to document this so you guys can see how this thing actually works. Alrighty. So the first thing we're going to do is plug it in. Alright, it's plugged in. Next thing we're going to do is insert our bowl liner. which just pops in like that. There's the bowl liner. Uh, most people pee first before they poop, but who knows? Each to their own. That's a good amount of uh, apple cider vinegar. And we have our donated cat poop. And we like to wipe our butt afterwards. So we'll add some TP. So, we've got a bowl liner, cat poo, and apple cider vinegar to simulate urine. We've done our business. Actually I should probably show you how it goes down. You uh, press the floor button and down it goes. Close the lid. 
and press the button. I'm gonna remove the camera from the tripod so I can walk around this thing a little bit more easily. So you can hear the fan on right now. It's very quiet. It's uh, it's not even a hair dryer on the lowest setting. And the air right now is not even warm. Feels like cool air coming out. So it's noon right now, exactly, 12 noon. This thing I think is supposed to run for an hour and a half or an hour and a quarter, 75 minutes. So I will come back in about 10 minutes and see how much smoke we've got coming out of it, see if there's any smell coming out of it and see if the noise has changed. It's working, it's doing its thing. Obviously it's going to take some time for the heating elements inside the coils to get really red hot and start generating enough heat to burn off the liquid and start incinerating the feces. All right. I will be back in a bit. Alrighty, so we are 17 minutes into the cycle. It's 12, 7, that's 12, 18, so 18 minutes into the cycle. The fan is still going strong. The air is still, that's just, it's like a very soft, gentle hair dryer on low power there's no you can there's no heat here I was worried about PVC piping being attached to the back of this thing you don't want to put plastic anywhere where anything gets super hot but really this you know bare hands there's no heat it's just warm air temperature of the air is probably I don't know like 90 degrees or something it's not hot 85 90 if I can put my hands right onto it like that, you know it's not hot. Smell-wise, I don't know, it smells a little bit like popcorn. <laughs> it's really weird. It has a slight nutty, popcorn-y smell, very subtle. There's definitely no bad smell. Um, it doesn't smell like sewage or feces or there's no acrid smell from the uh, vinegar being burnt off, the pretend urine. Um, yeah, it's uh, completely pleasant. It's, it's not bad at all so far. So, like I said, we are 19 now 20 minutes into the cycle um, we'll lift the lid and have a peek inside see what's going on in there there's no smell coming from here and there's no fumes coming from here if I press the lever it is burning off Kind of hard to see. Burning off slowly.
I think every time you obviously open the uh, lid, it's going to uh, release some of the heat, dissipate, so it might take a little longer. But uh, come back in another 15, 20 minutes and see how it's doing. All right, back again. It's now 12.38, so we're almost 40 minutes into the cycle. Uh, and it is still blowing. Warm air coming out. The smell is absolutely the same. Very slightly popcorn-y. I don't know if that's just the fact that it's cat poop and vinegar, or if that's the smell I can expect in the future with human waste. We shall see. But uh, very quiet. No smell, no smoke. Smoke was my biggest concern. Usually when you burn anything, you get smoke. And the catalytic converter that's built into the exhaust chamber of this thing is doing an amazing job at removing any smoke and any smell. It's extraordinary. There's absolutely no evidence that this thing is on except for the noise of the fan blower. So let's have a look and see what's going on inside the thing after 40 minutes. Um, toilet seat is still cool. The inside of the pan is still cool to the touch. Um, pressing the lever on the side here to open up the burn chamber. And as you can see, there is a little bit of uh, smoking going on down there. The, the TP is ash. The toilet paper is definitely ash. All of the liquid's gone. Um, And it looked like the cat poop was pretty black. Alright, so back again. We're at the uh, 55 minute mark. It's 12.55 in the afternoon. The fan's still going strong. There's no smoke. It's still the temperature of a warm hairdryer. It's pretty amazing how it dissipates that heat in the burn chamber. It's a little bit warmer than it was. But it's certainly not hot enough to melt plastic or PVC. Um, so let's have a look and see what's going on inside. The uh, Inner chamber is, you know, the bowl is still cool to the touch. Let's have a quick peek. And we've got a tiny bit of smoke, a lot of heat, and basically just what looks like ash already. Alright, we are back at, it's uh, 16 minutes past one, so this thing's been running since noon. It's uh, an hour and 16 minutes into the burn incinerator cremation cycle. Fan's still going. Get down here by the exhaust. Warm air coming out. Still sounds like a very quiet hair dryer on low power. Sides feel cool, back feels cool. It's a little warm here on this side, but you know, you still touch it. There's definitely 
I don't know, maybe it's actually from the sun. <laughs> it could well be from sitting out in the sun. But it's uh, hotter than the other side. Toilet seat's cool. Inside chamber's still cool. Let's open the lid, have a little peek. We got ash in the pan. All right, shut that up. So I'm not sure if this is uh, supposed to be an hour and a half or an hour and 20, but uh, it's still running. Um, let's see what time it switches itself off and it's done. All right, it's 125, so an hour and 25 minutes into the cycle. The fan has switched off. So I reread the instructions and it says that it heats for an hour. That's the factory setting. Incinerates for an hour and then the blower is on for another 10 to 45 minutes, depending on the temperature of the unit, to circulate and blow the heat out and cool down the burn chamber. So that's why it was on for after an hour, but it's off right now. Um, my video camera ran out of battery and storage, so I'm using my iPhone. So if the footage looks a little different in the final video, that is why. Um, but it is off. Cool to the touch. And we have ash in the bottom of the pan after its first test. So, it feels pretty cool. Um, it says to wait until it's completely cool to, before you remove the ash pan. So I think I'm gonna wait another half an hour just to let it cool down before I come out and uh, remove the ash pan and show you what it looks like. It's been a couple of hours since we ran the first cycle. It ran for an hour and incinerated everything and then it ran for another 20, 25 minutes with the fan going on and off. Cooling down the burn chamber. So what we're gonna do now is uh, have a look at what's left of our cat poop and <clears throat> apple cider vinegar. So what you do is you pull off the bottom tray here, like so. This is the metal tray, it just comes straight off. Put that to one side and then you'll see here the ash pan, which is a, a clip connector to hold it in place. So I'm just gonna make sure it's not too hot to touch. It's hot, but not too bad. It's not crazy hot. I can still touch it. So you flip that up. You lift this up. So you lift the handle here to release the, the lower catch here. Clips on. And then you literally just pull this out. And here we have what is left from the incineration process. I got a screwdriver here. And it is literally powdered ash. Um, that's pretty impressive. There's no smell, very little heat. And all we have left is completely white ash. Um, once this gets to about half an inch in depth of ash, they say to throw, you know, toss it out. This particular incinerator is going into a garage. Um, which does not have any water or drainage and it's a good ways away from my septic system so I didn't want to 
bust through the concrete and dig a trench and run water to the garage and everything else because I'm on a well and water is precious so um, this was my next best option by putting in a electric incinerating toilet in the garage so um, I will follow up on that installation once it's complete and show you how I vented it to the outside of the garage which is pretty simple four inch pipe a couple of couplings 90 degree elbows but uh, this is basically what I wanted to see how it works does it smell does it create white ash that's completely incinerated and the answer to that is there's no smell um, there is uh, very little heat out of the exhaust. It's no noisier than a hairdryer on low power and low heat. Um, and that's about it. And the waste is very manageable. You just put that into your trash, basically. Alrighty. I hope this was of use to any of you out there thinking about buying an incinerate electric incinerating toilet. Thanks for watching. Kids are pooping, kings are pooping, dogs are pooping, hogs are pooping, mom is pooping.